When we hear the word veneers, ang muna pumapasok sa isip natin is nakikita natin to sa mga artista, sa mga influencers, and lalo na sa mga beauty queens, right? So for today, we will talk about everything you need to know about veneers. If you're interested, please keep on watching. everyone, it's me again, Dr. B, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am Dr. Bianca Bele. I'm a dentist from the Philippines, and I just started making dental vlogs, motivational videos, and anything about life outside my profession. Pag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba ang veneers, ano nga ba yung composite, anong pinagkaiba ng direct composite veneers sa porcelain veneers. We will start with the word veneer. So if we will look it or search for it in the internet, hindi lang pala siya pang ngipin, pwede din siyang wood or any material, but the total meaning of it is an attractive covering or appearance on something or someone. When dentistry, it is applied to someone's teeth to make them attractive and confident. Imagine when you enter a room and you smiled, iba talaga yung dating kapag you have a nice set of teeth. You're not just confident with your smile, but you are also confident speaking and talking to other people. The number one function of veneers is for aesthetics naman talaga. Lalo na sa ngipin natin. It can also change the shape of your face depende sa shape ng veneers. We will also restore the smile and the function of the teeth of the patient. When it comes to choosing the shape of the veneers, depende yun kung lalaki or babae. If square yung veneers, it adds more masculinity sa mga babae naman. Usually, we make it rounder. Kapag pinahaba yung veneers, nagkaka-illusion na humahaba yung mukha din natin. So parang it can make the face slimmer or the person slimmer kapag dinagdagan yung length ng ating ngipin. When you have a heart-shaped face naman, it's better to have shorter veneers. Kapag oval or pahaba ang mukha, mas okay yung squarish teeth to widen your face. Compared naman sa crowns, dental veneering is a more conservative treatment because mas konti lang yung binabawas na tooth structure sa ngipin. Unlike in crowns, we need to reduce more enamel tissue because the crown will cover the entire surface of the tooth. So here is an example picture of a crown versus a veneer. Sa veneers naman sa harap lang, sa harap binabawasan at tinadagdagan. Minsan hindi pa nga binabawasan kapag direct composite veneers. Let's talk about composite naman. So, composites are tooth-colored materials that we're using for restoration. Yun lang siya ginagamit for veneers, ginagamit din siyang pang pasta ng ngipin. When we say composite veneers, it could be direct or indirect. Different procedures but same material. So, direct composite veneers. Una sa lahat, alam na natin na composite yung ginagamit. Pangalawa, kaya siya tinawag na direct is because yung dentista mismo ang naglalagay ng material or ng composite doon sa ngipin natin inside our mouth. Ibig sabihin, hindi na kailangan ng laboratory work. In direct composite veneers naman, we have the same material, composite din siya, but it is fabricated in a laboratory or it is fabricated outside the patient's mouth. Ang gagawin dito ay susukatan yung pasyente from that impression. They will produce a cast or a model. On that model, the dentist or the dental technician put the composite or the material para mag-shape at mag-build up ng veneer. Madami ng excellent type of material pagdating sa composite veneers. Mga materials na with zirconia fillers para talagang mas matibay and kahit na direct veneer siya, hindi siya mabilis at hindi siya madaling mag-chip off. So this is an example of a direct composite veneer. This are zirconia veneers. As you can see, nakuha naman dito yung gusto nating natural looking and yung may translucency and meron ding opacity. Nakuha din yung anatomy talaga ng totoong ngipin. When it comes to ceramic or porcelain veneers naman, lagi tayong nalilito or yung iba nalilito. Ano nga pinag ng ceramic sa porcelain? So technically, porcelain is a type of a ceramic material. So parang parehas lang sila, ibang term lang and iba ang use. This type of veneer naman, or this material naman, unlike direct composite veneers, it could never be done inside a patient's mouth. It is always processed, customized, and made in a laboratory by a dental technician or by a ceramist. Porcelain veneers can also be done by a computer-aided machine or yung tinatawag nga natin na CAD CAM. So yun, um, gumagamit sila ng blocks for the veneers. Now, we will talk about type of ceramic veneers or type of ceramics in general. So, this is for you to have an idea ano nga ba yung mga 
um, choices natin when it comes to porcelain veneers. So there are three categories. We have glass ceramics, glass ceramics with feelers, and glass-free ceramics or polycrystalline. Kapag sinabi natin glass ceramics, ito yung feldspathic veneers or feldspathic porcelain na nalilinig natin. Glass ceramics meaning it has pure glass fillers. Kapag naman glass ceramics with fillers, ibig sabihin it has glass fillers with another type of fillers. Ito nga yung leucite reinforced, lithium disilicate, and glass infiltrated alumina system. So dito naman, ang mas madalas natin ginagamit is lithium disilicate or yung Emax veneers. Yung glass infiltrated naman, ito yung mga inseram alumina, inseram spignel, and inseram zirconia. Glass-free ceramics naman or polycrystalline, it has alumina and zirconia. So in this next slide, mag-focus tayo lalo sa feldspathic, lithium disilicate, and zirconia because yun naman yung usually na ginagamit sa porcelain veneers. You can see that zirconia is the strongest material when it comes to dental ceramics. Feldspathic veneer naman yung weakest because it's brittle and it chips off easily. Lithium disilicate naman, medyo gitna siya. It has 360 megapascals. It has good strength and it is good for those people who are experiencing night grinding or clenching or yung pagnangalit po ng lipin. When it comes to aesthetics naman, balik tad. Felspatic has the most pleasing appearance. Ibig sabihin, siya yung pinakamaganda aesthetically. It has good translucency and opacity na katulad ng natural nating lipin. Lithium disilicate naman, it can also achieve a good natural appearance and can also mimic our natural teeth. So zirconia is the least naturally looking when it comes to aesthetics because it is more opaque and less natural. Now that we're done discussing about the differences between composite and porcelain veneers, pag-uusapan naman natin yung advantages and disadvantages nila. Advantages of the red composite veneers. Number one, it is a one-visit procedure. It will take like four to six hours, depending on gano ka dami nipin yung gagawin ng dentista. Second, price-wise, it's less expensive because the materials are also less pricey compared to porcelain veneers na kailangan pa ng laboratory fees and other impression materials. Third, it can be easily repaired. If it chips off or it got broken, it can also be checked immediately by your dentist because yung dentista naman yung mismo naglalagay sa nipin, makikita din kung pantay ba talaga and you can easily see it at the same day. So the recomposite veneers can also correct minor deficiencies in your teeth. And lastly, there is just a minimal loss of tooth structure. Ibig sabihin, konti lang yung ibabawas ang ngipin mo. For disadvantages of the recomposite veneers, first, it has a shorter lifespan compared to porcelain veneers. Um, magtatagal lang siya around 5 to 7 years. Second, it stains and tends to discolor because composite is a very porous material. So if you love coffee, tea, wine, or any colored drink, it might stain it in the long run and you might need to go back to your dentist to fix it. Number three, it wears out quickly, especially if you are experiencing bruxism, yun yung night grinding. It may chip off or break your veneers. Number four, it could be bulky. Dahil nga, minsan hindi na tayo nagbabawas ang nipin, konti lang or minimal lang yung binabawas, nagiging more bulky siya dahil nag-a-add lang tayo ng material. Medyo kumakapal, so kailangan din i-check ng dentista yun if may space pa or may room pa for applying the composite material. Then, it could have marginal staining. Kung mahilig kayo sa mga color drinks, just need to come back to your dentist and ask for repair or um, if it is needed to be polished. There could be shade selection difficulty, especially if you just want a veneer on um, two or more teeth. Kunwari, yung ngipin lang, yung apat na ngipin lang sa harap. Minsan kasi pag medyo older na yung patient natin, mas yellowish na yung ngipin, hindi na ganun um, kadali pumili ng shade. Kailangan magaya talaga ng dentista yung nipin ng pasyente kasi hindi naman pwede hindi ka kulay. Number seven, it could have ledges also if hindi masyadong napolish na dentist yung edges. Kasi mahirap talagang maabot yung mga in-between or yung talagang nasa may gum line na. Number eight, dahil hindi nga siya ganun katibay like porcelain veneers, usually it may often require repair or replacement. But despite of this disadvantages, everything can be repaired naman by your dentist. So yun nga, have a regular checkup para hindi lang kayo magpapa-cleaning or magpapa-assess, but the dentist can also 
check your veneer restoration. So, kung magkaroon man ng chip off or uh, magkaroon man ng basag yung veneers nyo, it's normal because kumakain naman tayo, may mga kinakagat tayo. So, uh, hindi talaga yun maiiwasan. Hindi kasalanan ni dentist kung mangyari man yun. So, advantages naman of porcelain or ceramic veneers, number one, it has a long lifespan. So, pwede siyang tumagal up to 10 to 15 years or kapag talagang matibay, like zirconia nga, it could last 20 to 30 years kung iingatan talaga natin. Number two, it is stain resistant. Hindi siya nag-sustain at all. Kahit lagi kang umiin mo ng kape, wine, hindi siya maaapektuhan. Third advantage is aesthetic stability. Ang ibig sabihin, we are sure that the veneers have the same color, have the same material, and are made symmetrically because sa laboratory siya ginawa, lagang magkamuka yung sa left and right. Number four, it is stronger and more durable. So, mas matibay talaga yung porcelain veneers. Hindi siya madaling mag-chip off or mabasag. And it can mimic the strength of our natural teeth. Number five, it is more naturally looking. So, dahil nga ginagawa ito sa laboratory, um, the ceramist or the dental technician will intricately put layers or put the material at talagang gagawin nila yun na magiging kamukha talaga ng totoo natin ngipin. Number six, it is also a very conservative approach. Yung ibabawas ang ngipin natin, it ranges from 0.2 millimeters to 1 millimeter. So, it is very possible that um, maging ganito kanipis yung ating porcelain veneers. And number seven, it is highly accurately fitting to the tooth. Kapag sa laboratory talagang ginawa, we can make sure that uh, lapat na lapat yung ating veneers kapag sinement na to sa ngipin natin. Uh, makikita all sides kapag sinukatan ka sa dentista and pinadala sa laboratory. Lahat din ng sides uh, mapapolish and magiglaze. For the disadvantages naman ng porcelain or ceramic veneers, number one, there are several appointments before you receive your final porcelain veneers. But the good thing is, kapag sinukatan kayo and after the preparation, lalagyan naman kayo ng temporary veneers. Usually, ang ginagamit din dun is composite material. Second, it is way more expensive than the direct composite veneers. Why? Because the material is talagang mas mahal, mas maganda, and um, additional pa yung laboratory fees and, and other impression or dental materials na gagamitin. Third, it cannot be repaired. Porcelain veneers, kapag may um, problema like in color or kapag nabasag, nag-chip off, kailangan palitan ulit and gumawa ng bago. Hindi siya pwedeng i-repair or pasakan lang din ng another material. Number four, it is very technique sensitive. Ibig sabihin, importante talaga yung skills ng dentista in comes of the preparation for the veneers. Kailangan talaga tama yung bawas, tama yung technique na gagawin kasi hindi lang talaga nakadepende lahat sa ceramic or sa dental technician when it comes to um, this kinds of restoration. Hand in hand yan eh. Kailangan tama yung ginawa ng dentist. Kailangan tama din yung um, gagawin ng laboratory. Number five, this is very unusual naman but it may happen. It may become sensitive to hot or cold if hindi maganda yung fit ng veneers. For example, there are gaps or spaces between the tooth and the veneers. Pwedeng pasukan ng mga um, liquid na will cause your tooth to be sensitive kasi nga, di ba, pre-repair natin yan. So, magiging mangilog. But, bihira naman yung mangyari, especially if maganda naman yung pagkakagawa and chinek na mga mabuti ng dentista. So, to summarize everything na napag-usapan natin, medyo mahaba, no? Para hindi kayo masyadong maguluhan. I made this um, slide for you to, you can take a picture of it para naman magkaroon kayo ng um, idea talaga. So, my final advice is look for the best dentists who are skilled and has a lot of experience when it comes to aesthetics or when it comes to veneering. If you're a practical person naman, you can avail the direct composite veneers because it will also have a long lifespan. Matagal din naman yung itatagal niya, lalo na kapag inalagaan nyo. Yun niya, it is cheaper, less invasive, and have shorter appointment. You can still achieve the natural looking teeth kahit naman direct composite veneers. But when it comes to quality, pipiliin ko talaga yung porcelain veneers. Yes, it is more expensive, but less repair naman, better maintenance, and you don't need to worry about staining or if it easily cheaps off. Maaaring matagal siyang gawin sa laboratory but it's worth the wait, di ba? Because it will last longer. Both of these veneers can have great results. 
The most important thing is to meet the patient's satisfaction and that this procedure will benefit the patient. We are not just restoring the patient's smile and teeth function, but the veneers can also give the patient a lot of confidence. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and sana madami kayong nalaman about veneers. Please don't forget to like, share this video, and tap that subscribe and bell button for you to get notified sa mga susunod kong videos. Thank you for all of your support. So just remember to always be happy and keep smiling. I hope you're all safe and see you on my next video.